Hi, um, I wanted to show you the rest of the pre-K um, curriculum and what I use for my records. Um, as far as the records, when the year's over, we'll be doing like an assessment for him and it's just for me to know what he will need to learn for kindergarten. So I have an assessment as far as numbers go, up to 20. Um, then there's the letter sounds. And then uh, I have upper and lower case, separate. <clears throat> um, what letters he can write from his alphabet. His name, what numbers he can count to, the ones he can write, and shapes. Um, this is how I take attendance. Um, and I got it from Enchanted Homeschooling Mom. And... Um, this will be, for me, it's just a progress report that I want just to keep for his, you know, little records and album and stuff. Um, and this uh, tells me the things that, um, like, he should be doing or he should know as far as, like, in a pre-K classroom. So I wanted to do that as an assessment as well. This would be for him to write his alphabet. And I also use um, Easy Peasy, so I am doing their schedule. And those are the only records that I actually have for pre-K. <clears throat> um, in the beginning of the year, I started doing his schoolwork in a notebook, doing notebooking, but that took too much of my time, so I'm going to show you what I did as far as that. Um, we did a first day of school, little album with his hands and tracing what he liked and things like that and I printed that from online um, and uh, he did this for his A's. Um, that was the ant. That's how he was at the beginning of the year and this also came from <coughs> Easy Peasy. This was a workbook page. Huh. That's where his pencil went. He's been looking for that pencil for weeks. Um, that was just to teach him to go down. Um, this is from ABC Jesus Loves Me, that worksheet. Um, he did this one. Trace. I don't remember where this one was from. Um, then he's got his little books. What A is, and he would just color it. And this was at the beginning of the year. And then this little game I made for him. And, uh, print apples and stuff. And you put them depending on, um, sizes. I think the apples I printed from somewhere. I don't remember. They were like sized apples. They might have been from his workbook. Um, and he did this. I think this was from a lap book worksheet. So, did that one. Um, he put stickers on here. So we'll start with an A. Um, this is how many apples were in the tree. And he would just... He drew them, and we went through the cards every um, every day, counting and stuff like that. Um, over here, these were done for patterns. I just pretty much cut them out as a worksheet. I put them on too hard um, file folder to make them hard for him to do patterns, and then he just has like the little apples that he puts depending on the pattern card he would just put it you know wherever it went um, it was just a printout that I cut hard and colored and made into a pattern um, here is how many seeds so we actually used apples for this and he would just put them where it went and we were just you know going over counting um, this would be opposites and pretty much He's got little, big, full, empty. And it was also a worksheet and I just um, cut it apart and made it into a little game. 
then we have uh, the rolling race and with this one we used a dice and we would just go up putting uh, little um, apples on here and so one one whoever got to six first would win um, these are the pieces for that the apples that he would put they were either lowercase or uppercase This was our letter A reading log, which I still haven't filled up. I have it on a different piece of paper. <clears throat> With this one, same thing. He would roll a dice, and then he would use a little circle that I punched out with numbers to put it where it went. Um, then he goes on to B. He glued what started with B. Um, did the color blue when we did B. He also did the color brown and the color black. Um, again, with the lines, so he can. Um, it it actually helped him a lot. These tracing lines. Um, learning was small. His baby, his little B. He colored it, of course, in blue and brown. Oh, um, uh, we. Learned this Bumblebee song. He loved that one. Um, he did his tracing. What begins with B? This was for a little thing, but all I did was I'm sorry. I I'm getting a really bad cold. Um, all I did was tell him to just put stickers under it and just used it as a flap. Same thing here. Reading log. Still on B. Um blue he just did stickers um circled his little bees and his big bees a book for b and he colored it and this he went from big to little and this helped him too i think this one was from i think oh, there it is the measured mom.com it's where i get those worksheets and they are awesome helps them do the letters this was to do pairs of colors so he colored himself and then he puts bow ties on the little boy's shirt um, he would just pair them up and I cut the bow ties this was not with the game it was with another work book I just I made this one up and um, I used a cereal box for the back to make them hard so he could use this either with the little boy or we could play with it outside of the notebook and he liked this little boy um, this one what we did was learn first second third I would tell him find the second um, policeman and he would put his number two for the second policeman on there so he learned it as written and in the number form um, just finding eggs this is another pattern he has the little pattern cards here and then he would just put them where they went to what belonged together so this is we're still working on what belongs together and for the end of this one he drew a bat so he followed steps and made his own bat and that came from sightwordsgame.com. So I, this is the last one that I did for the notebooking. After that, we've been doing the binder. So I just add the stuff in there. Um, that's his name, practice. And I bought these two from Walmart. So these are the things we do. We do uh, the preschool and we're going to go through it. And some of them are out of place because I just go to whatever's next. So, like he's doing mazes, he's doing colors, and uh, his next one is just reviewing of colors and so forth and so on. So it, this is mainly like mazes and things like that, and sometimes I get out of it depending on what he's learning. So anyways, that is our curriculum for pre-K. Um, thank you for watching, and if you like this video, just hit like. Thank you.